so i hope you have a task to do for me people are sitting at the back <coughs> people sitting in the middle row front row are little in the limelight so you just need to take your elbow and just try to push them people away so that anybody who is trying to fall asleep they would not do that i know it's a last performance and you know desserts always are served at the last so with that powerful note i would like to start my conversation and that's the reason ladies and gentlemen starting with a very powerful line which i have learned from my beloved wife i am a completely domesticated husband <laughs> fine and blessed by two baby daughters and that what i have learned is that even if you wish you cannot be the same person when you listen to me and when you have a conversation with me so with this powerful line and i am able to see some faces and people say okay my mom my wife my in laws could not do that and you are trying to do that with the meeting the first time in your life please go ahead so let me try but one thing i am very sure about all of you today that after you have some inputs from my side i am more of known for giving sleepless nights and that's what i am known for i know i have got around 86 stories and 355 case studies and 15 hours but that had been cut down to 15 minutes by none other than harsh fine so it's a very challenging task for me and the only the only thing which was stopping these guys to get me here on the floor was like i am used to conduct sessions for 15 hours and he was not confident that i'll get down after 15 minutes so still i'll try to manage so i'm starting with one small story and one powerful line that i just want that the task given to me and to add value to what you have so once you go out of this door i'm sure your life is going to change so just next 10 minutes listen to me very carefully because i don't know what is going to happen to you in your entire life and what influence it's going to have in your life because i have done this so many times not only in fortune 500 companies not in in abroad but i have done it in more than 30 countries more than 1.5 lakh participants 50 plus thousand of training programs and i'm still counting so guys this is tr trusha reddy js yes, this is tr trusha reddy it's a prefix which i use people use doctor people use engineer for er and i have come up with the prayer that i'm proud to be a trainer and tr is my trade prefix and it is patented and it is registered and it is a copyright so no one else can use that so with this i am giving you a small example there was a boy who used to watch a huge imported car outside his school and every day there was an interaction today when i listen to all these fantastic people and you know the inputs which i got i had added those up in last two minutes which i also i learned from the band which was spontaneous i mean what a talent so i am just trying to do a little experiment along with my speech also so this guy used to watch this imported car and this person and he was like looking at each other every day but there was not an opportunity to converse or to have a communication and this guy was like every day looking at this small boy one day the class got late and this boy got an opportunity to talk to each other and this guy was like very confident everybody is very confident including me until i got married so this guy was like yes i know what is going on in his mind and when i meet him i'll you know motivate him and you know boost him up and when he came and when he had start now listen to this conversation very carefully because this is one of my biggest learning of my life and he said yes i know what you are thinking and this small guy this small boy was like looking at boy okay go ahead what am i thinking and he said yes you like my car a lot he said yes question number 1 perfect 5 marks you want to achieve this car you want to drive this car when you grow up question number 2 yes absolutely right and this guy was in the confidence was going scale 1 to 5 and the third question was like totally a clean sweep and now you want to become like me and you want to drive this car and he said no and this person was taken aback just like me when i heard this story for the first time i said you don't want to become like me no so think what what is your question then well now it's my chance to ask question he said how did you get this car how did you manage how did this car happen in your life I still have goosebumps when I gave him the climax on this. He said, "My brother gifted this." I said, "Thank you for this." And said, so "You don't want to ask any more questions? Well, I'm done. I want to become like your brother, who can afford, manage, and become so successful that he can give these kind of cars." Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, what point I want to put across here is like mind is never a problem worldwide. Mindset is a problem worldwide. Most of the people who fail is because of the mindset. If you wear a yellow pair of glasses everybody sitting across the world will be seem to be a jaundice patient to you it's all about how you look at things if 
you have an attitude of gratitude, you will never fail in life. And now what I am going to talk about is a very powerful thing, which I am sure everybody on this earth wants to know, but you guys are really lucky who are sitting in this auditorium that you are the first people who are coming to get this knowledge. How do you put your idea in other person's mind and how do you get the money from other person's pocket in your pocket? Don't you think this is an interesting topic? Yeah. But what do you need to do that? You know the problem with us, I am also part of it but now the frequency has gone down. That everybody, everybody, listen to this very carefully guys, everybody wants the prize, you know the prize money, yes. It's very exciting, even I was very excited when I heard the term called prize. But, but nobody is ready to pay the price. I heard few of the conversations where you know there are sleepless nights before that, there are multis no more of tasking, they were, they were talking about the poster, the story behind it, everybody has their own story. But the only part is like we go for the motivational stories of other people, again they are required, they are equally important. But if you really want, if you really want that people should get influence and if you really want to have a successful life, guys one thing which if you really want to take away from this auditorium that you should have your own success story. You do not require anybody else's success story to convince anybody and the world will be at your feet. And how do you create that? Have you ever thought of it? Friends, you have must have heard of lot of lot of you know things in life that grass is always greener on the other side. But actually it's not. I have a little different belief system that grass is never greener on the other side, friends. Grass is always greener on the side where you do the watering, where you do the nurturing. Grass is never greener on the other side. It's all up to you how many efforts you put into them. Let me give you a small, small incident about how things change. Parenting part, which was one of the most powerful topic which I really learned because I'm blessed by two daughters and it has really helped me. So I would just like to give one example about the no part. We need to understand, we need to have inculcate few things that if you really want to succeed in life, there are very few parameters, there is no more rocket science. The first thing is there is no programming, you need to learn. There is no substitute to learning, there is no substitute to gaining knowledge. Let's start with a small example, I am sure you will be able to correlate with this. If I give you a say, statement, don't think of a giraffe. When I say don't think of a giraffe, no, you are not supposed to think of a giraffe. Most of the people have already imagined a giraffe. But I am sure you are going to hear this for the first time and I am really glad that when I heard this for the first time, I am implementing this religiously, that your mind is so powerful, it doesn't process no. You know that? You were not aware of this thing till now. So when I say it doesn't process no, so how do you actually live your life or how do you actually proceed for success? Let me give you one simple statement. I don't want to fall ill. Now don't want to fall ill, now that no it doesn't process, so you are actually falling ill, you are inviting. I want to be healthy. Start with affirmative statements. Can we do that? Yes, 100%. We maximum conversations with our kids start with no. No, you don't do this. No, you cannot do this. No, you are not supposed to do this. I will give you a very simple example of riding a bicycle and that will correlate with you. What is the formula of actually getting success? Instead of telling you don't go don't drive, don't rush, don't ride a bicycle, don't go outside. You can always replace and substitute that with, yes, you can definitely ride a bicycle, why not? So the child, the kid, or the client, or the customer, or any single person listening to you, you are not cutting him down. He's getting into affirmation. You can ride a bicycle, but only with an assistant. Only with some assistance, only when somebody is bare back behind you, only when the gates are closed, only when there is no traffic. Give them conditions and I am sure that child will never cut down any of your point. Let me give you one simple statement and that will actually open up all your mind. When you go in a mall and when you see that, you know, when your child is walking with you and you are not able to enjoy with him, there is only one simple statement, there is only one simple thing that you need to do and things will be taken care of. You know what? The child is not enjoying because he is holding your hand. You are enjoying because you are having the sight that the child is not having the sight. Just lift him up, take them in the arms and see the change in the smile and see the change in the behavior. That's what is required in today's world, friends. Either you go down to their level or you need to uplift their level of the people who are associated with you. Preparation. Preparation comes before success, even in the dictionary. And most of the people fail there. We want everything in life, but we are not ready to invest. So let me give you three powerful things today. 
which will actually take you so far that nobody will be able to touch your scenario. Number one, practice OQP. Now, this is a very powerful term. If you really start doing this, I'm sure that you will never fail in life. OQP stands for only quality people. Have people who can add value in your life. Have people who have the spark. Have people, they light up their eyes when they look at you, when they see you, they are very happy. Have people in your life who actually try to push you to the limits and see the difference. The results will be magical and you won't be able to have the slightest idea in the wildest of your dream where you are heading towards. You need to be prepared. I'm sure you're not able to connect with me on this statement, but I'll give you one example which will actually give you the entire insight what exactly I'm trying to say. Tomorrow, if I want to become a world trainer and if I want to give a speech, I'm hunting for opportunities. But what if one person comes and says, okay, tomorrow you are going to a stadium and I'm giving you 10,000 people. Are you ready for it? Most of the times, if I am there, five years back, I would have said no. But I was hunting for that opportunity. But when that thing came up, I was not prepared. I was not ready. So what does that mean? Let me give you an example which will clear out the air. If you have to take a milk in a regular utensil, listen to this very carefully, friends. You will understand what exactly I'm trying to say. If you have to take a regular milk, you can have it in a steel or a copper or any other plastic even utensil. A regular milk which comes to your place, right? Now listen to this, which will blow up your mind. If you want to have or store, take, consume a milk of a lioness, you won't be able to do that in a steel. You know what will happen? It will break out. It needs gold, it needs silver or it needs something really strong which can hold that milk. And that's where actually we fail. We don't want to invest in relationships, we don't want to be prepared, we are not master in what we do, we don't want to invest time in having knowledge. When somebody asks me, Trushar, what do you want to do? I say, I want to drink, lie and sail. And like first thought that comes to your mind is assumptions and oh, what this person is talking about after traveling so many countries, having Atal Gaurav Bharat Puraskar, National Award, Government of India and he's talking these things. But the problem is with you, with your interpretation, I am absolutely fine with from my way. I want to drink the fountain of knowledge. I want to sail away from bad company and I want to lie on the bed of success. Can't I do that? Yes, 100% I can do that. Lastly, I would just like to give you one powerful quote which would actually change the way you are thinking from today. If you really want to be successful in life, there are only three things which are required and then I give you a guarantee that nobody on this earth can stop you from being successful. There is having quality people, change your mindset, have a proper attitude of gratitude and last but not the least is Work on yourself. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Trushar Reddy signing off.